People differ in their temperaments, aptitudes, physical appearance. However, one thing mostly defines people's success or failure more than this – it's belief. Beliefs strongly affect what we want and whether we succeed in getting it. Do you believe your qualities carved in stone are fixed ones or it could be cultivated through perseverance, personal effort, resilience or growth ones? This approach makes entirely different two kinds of people. In one group, people with a fixed mindset believe that you can do change intelligence, personality or character since they are unchangeable. In another group, people with a growth mindset believe you can improve your basic qualities through your efforts. When you think your qualities are fixed, you are continuously trying to prove yourself as smart, talented at every step. You look smart, don't look dumb. This attitude is valid in every sphere of your life, in the classroom, in the careers, in the relationship. Every situation calls for confirmation, validation of your intelligence, personality or character. Of course, each person has a unique genetic endowment. People may start with different temperaments and different aptitudes, but it's clear that experience, training and personal effort takes them the rest of the way. Robert Sternberg, the present-day guru of intelligence, write that the significant factor in whether people achieve expertise is not some fixed prior ability, but purposeful engagement. Do people with a growth mindset believe that anyone can be anything, that anyone with proper motivation or education can be Einstein or Beethoven? No, but they believe that human is imperfect at estimating these true abilities and performance, so her true potential is unknown. In other words, it's impossible to foresee what can be accomplished but year by years of passion, perseverance and training. To understand better how the mindset works, imagine that you are a young, young adult having a really bad day. One day, you go to the class and professor returns the mind term paper and said you got C+. You are very disappointed. And then, at the same evening, way back to your home, you find that you have gotten a parking ticket. What would you think? How would you feel? People with the fixed mindset will say, I would be feel like a reject, I'm a total failure, I'm an idiot, I'm a loser. Since you are trying to be perfect, to look talented at every step, you are getting to blame others, blame the world, you face challenges and failure. However, people with a growth mindset are likely to react the same situation like this. It was a midterm rather than a final. It was a parking ticket, not a car crash. I need to try harder in the class and be more careful when parking the car. As it's clear from the example, Mindset defines how you deal with the challenges, failures. In the fixed one, failure means the catastrophic event could cause paralysis. However, in the growth mindset, people confront the failure, challenges and keep working at them. In one world, the world of fixed traits, success is about pro proving you are smart or talented. In another world, the world of challenging qualities, it's about stretching yourself and developing your skills by learning something new. In one world, failure is about having a setback, getting a bad grade, getting fired, it means you are not smart or talented. In another world, failure is about not growing, not reaching for your things you value, you are not fulfilling your potential. In one world, Effort is a bad thing. It's like a failure, means you are not smart or talented. If you were, you would not need effort. In the another world, effort is what makes you smart or talented. You have a simple but profound choice. Mindsets are just beliefs. They are powerful beliefs. And they are just something in your mind and could be changed. Think about where you would like to go. Is success about learning or proving you are smart? Eminent political theorist Benjamin Barber once said, I don't drive the world into weak or strong, into successor or failures. I divide the world into the learners and not learners. Everyone is born with an intense desire to learn. 
Look at the infants. They stretch their skills daily. They never think it's hard or not worth the effort. Babies don't worry about making mistakes or humiliating themselves. What could put end of this passion of learning? It's fixed mindset. When children become able to evaluate themselves, they become afraid of challenges and afraid of not being smart. In the fixed mindset, you are doing an easy task because it makes you feel superior. They help you label talented. When it comes to more challenging tasks, you are stepping back. In one nice example, great Russian dancer Marina Semenovna devised a novel way of selecting her students. It was a clear test for mindset. Her students first have to survive a trial period while watching how they react to prize and corrections. In the end, she chooses the one who is more responsive to the corrections. If you would like to see more videos like this, please like, share the videos and subscribe my channel. Thank you.